Hey friends, in the previous few videos we had seen how we can perform bulk operations including users, creations, deletions as well as user attribute updations in your Active Directory using the PowerShell script. Now in this video I will show you how we can add multiple users in any Active Directory group uh, on their email address basis. So suppose if you just want to add to perform this action so what you need to do you need to just first specify the the csv file in this csv file you need to use the email addresses for all accounts you need to specify over here so these uh, these email addresses are related with active directory users so i'm just going to cross check it using the tsa.msc command in this active directory users and computers snap in you can see there are the three accounts and one group exists in my active directory uh, ou that is tech and uh, I'm going to perform this action for these three accounts and one group. So this is my test01 account and this account is having test01 at the rate infoelias.com. This is the email address for test01 account. Similarly, if you would go for test02, so this account is also having email address that is test02 at the rate infoelias.com. Now if you will go on test underscore group so currently there are no members found in this group now we just want to add these two accounts in this group on their email address basis i am going to use the powershell isc and will show you how my powershell script is working similarly you need to create it and you can update the values accordingly like uh, your group name will be different and your csv name can be also different but I am using in my lab environment so this is test underscore group and uh, now from the very first line this is import hyphen module active directory so this is just calling the active directory module in my powershell script now this is a variable that is dollar csv file path here I am going to specify the csv file path exactly this is the path I will show you this is c drive ad script and this is the email so you can change the path accordingly as per your requirement and next is the group name this is the group name test group test underscore group i am going to add the users in this group so i specified the group name to whom we are going to update the values membership now this is the users this is the dollar users this is also a variable this will just read and process each line in the csv file and uh, after that this will use the for each loop and uh, dollar email this is the value for this is a variable that is email and this variable is having the value that that is dollar user dot email so the email will call from the csv file and dollar user is just called over here now get user object based on email so this is a active directory command that will use for filtering the email address uh, through the user object variable now if this variable is having the value like if a windows account active directory account is having the email address then this will just add the membership through this command add hyphen ad group member and identity and this is the group name variable and members so this will add through this parameter that is uh, hyphen members now it will prompt a message added means the users which is having the email address that will be added and in case if account does not have the email address so this will this will just use to search the the users which is having the email address if any user's email address is not matching through their csv file then it will prompt a message user with email does not found or not found so this you can just specify or customize your message over here now i'm going to execute this powershell script so what i will do i will just click on this run script now you can see i get a message that is added test 01 to test underscore group so these two accounts have been added in this test underscore group whereas 
user with email that is test03 infoelias.com not found so this email address is not assigned to any users in my active directory that's why we are getting this message now we'll see test underscore group the membership so this means there are the two users which are added and these two users is having the email address that's why these are added through this powershell script now if you will go through the test 03 so this account does not have the email address that's why we we uh, this powershell script is unable to add the account and this has just prompted a message that is test 03 does uh, not found in your active directory so this is the method which you need to just follow for adding the users on their email address basis in your active directory group thank you for watching this video